Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome to my crib. <laughs> If you haven't already guessed, I'm going to be doing a little house tour. I'm obsessed with home decor and I always post it on my Instagram and my Twitter. So this video has been so requested and I asked in one of my previous videos if I should do a house tour now and a house tour after I redecorate just a little bit and everyone wanted both. So that's what we're doing today. So let's just, let me show you around my house. So the first room that we have, it's not really a room, it's just a door, it's our garage i'm not going to show you in there it's kind of boring it's that garage the cars you know but then once you come in the first first door first technical room ish is this a room it's a toilet <laughs> it's right here we just kind of have a little plant in here and some perfume in case you know you do a stinky one you gotta you know it's actually perfume so you can use it on yourself as well and then you come into my lounge room dining room kitchen outdoor area it's all pretty open plan upstairs i'll start with this room is just sexy Things from. So, first of all, we have my little ottoman, which we, <laughs> we can't really sit on it yet because it's not full. We have to stuff it ourselves and we just have like towels and stuff in there, but we need more. And this is just from Etsy from a place called Moroccan Givings. Wow, I got really out of breath doing this. I think it's just because I'm nervous. Anyway. My little coffee table. A lot of people ask me about this because um, I said that I hated it because... Look at this, like it's very inconvenient, okay, you can't, we have to take this off, rest our little drinks here. Well, in fact, I bought a new coffee table, but it doesn't get here until like end of December, early January. Um, but this one I'm going to put outside because I really love it, I just, it's like a bit impractical. And this is from a place called Zillow and Hutch. I have a little Tom Ford book, which is just kind of cute and we need it so that we can actually place our fucking drinks and whatever on our <laughs> coffee table. And then we just hold all of our remotes and whatever in this shell, which I got from a place called Marquette and Byron Bay. Then our little couch here is from, oh my God, wait. <laughs> See my foot? <laughs> the couch here is from Freedom, which is kind of annoying, um, this couch actually, because these are in two different parts. Every single time, like, Kerry sits on it, it'll... <laughs> anyway, every time Kerry sits on it, and with me as well, this bit always, like, moves back, and then we have to go around and push it, and it's just kind of a lot of effort. But we also have some little pillows here from Indie Home Collective, and a throw from a place called... Greedy Lulu, which is a funny name. And then we have a little side table, which I actually don't remember where this is from. I think it might be from a place called Your Place, but we got it and it actually comes in like a light wood color. So we just painted it black, popped some magazines on top because I just like the way magazines look. And then we have Cactus, which is, I mean, in hindsight, probably about up. Moving on, but we have an entertainment unit from Freedom. It kind of matches our dining table, which I'm actually gonna, when I redecorate, change both of these because they're just a bit more warm tone than I would like, a bit darker than I would like. We have a little plant here. This is from a nursery kind of close to our house in James Street. Um, and then we also have this little guy hiding behind here because if you've noticed, we have concrete floors and our internet actually doesn't get through our concrete floors. So we have like three little extenders throughout our house so that we can actually use our internet. And then we just have like an Xbox, Apple TV, and this little basket here, which is from a place called Indie Home Collective. And then the basket is also from Indie Home Collective and the plant 
She's really struggling. <laughs> the problem is, I don't know the name of the plant and it didn't come with like little care instructions like most plants do. So I really just don't know how to take care of her and she is, she's struggling. Okay, next we have my dining room. It's not much, we have a table from Freedom, some chairs, which you can get at Freedom as well, but they're like 200 for Jill's chair there. And I got them for 80 bucks each, which is still a lot, but it's not $250. And they're from Swan Street online. And then I also got this little vase from Will and Barrow. And then I also just got this little pot here from a place called Marquette. And it's my life and I love this pot so much. And this leaf needs to come off because he is going on. Let me bring you to my patio. It's not much out here. Um, we still need to buy a plant for this because Carrie killed the other one. And the couch we have is from James Street. And the reason we have this instead of an outdoor setting is because we already had a couch, but we don't have two lounge rooms. So for the next place we're moving into has like two or three lounge rooms. So we're going to keep it and we're just going to keep it out here. And then we move into the new house. We'll get an outdoor setting. We have a little BBQ to barbecue some vegetables, I guess, and a fern. Oh, and then this, we also just got this from like a little nursery called the Smug Big. This is my kitchen. Mia's little part of the kitchen. We got these from Indie Home Collective. It just has like a medicine and like this one has like our keys and miscellaneous shit. Garrett, our little Siamese fighting fish, who's just like chilling. He's so cute, I'm obsessed with him. Um, and then we also just have like a little bit of decor here, I guess. This is just from Will and Barrow. Will and Barrow and our little cactus guy. And the basket is from a place called St. Bart. Okay, first thing you see when you walk down here is this little print. And this is just from a place called Blacklist. You can either go left or you can go right left or you can go right. <laughs> um so we're gonna go this way first wait did i say my lefts and rights correctly yeah i did i think so first one you come in over here is just our spare bathroom i mean it's a bathroom that's not much to it we just kind of have some little towels and stuff from indie home collective and then i have um a vase that's from wheel and burrow with some lush bath bombs on the side we have another shitter here our little like laundry room. The laundry room kind of sucks because we had to buy a whole new washing machine because look how tiny the space is. Ours was too big and now it's just sitting up in the garage and I don't go in here because there was a spider in there one time and it disappeared, so. This room is Carrie's room. It's also not very decorative because Carrie doesn't really give a shit, so I don't really give a shit about his room. This is just like a chair from his parents' house. The desk is from Freedom. This is from Kmart here. And then we just have a little plant, um, which I just put in here because I just felt like I needed some life. Um, and then we'll go the other way. The first room on the, which way is this? The left is my room. So this is my little filming room. And I'm gonna completely redo this actually because I don't really like the desk or the chair. And I think I might change the drawers, I'm not sure, but it's just, I mean, if you see it, it's not really like my house vibe, is it, except for the rug, which I just got. The rug is from Armadillo & Co, which I am just, like, actually obsessed with this. Um, I say I'm a lot. I'm gonna have to cut that out, like a bunch. Anyway. Um, 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 the desk is from Freedom. We have two little books here, which are just from Amazon and some little magazines on top. These little pots are from just a little nursery called the Smug Fig. The chair is from a place called West Elm. And then we have this little um, makeup drawer, which is just from Ikea, I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. A lamp, which is from a florist on Oxford Street, which I don't know the name of. I think it's just called Flowers on Oxford, honestly. Some more magazines. This little, I honestly don't know what the point of this is. It just was kind of pretty. And then a little candle inside. 
a little terrarium, and then a plant and a basket, which I don't know where this basket is from. I know you can get them on Indie Home Collective, but they don't ship to Australia, these baskets. Over here we have my lights, which normally they're like closer, but I just put them back here so you could see my shit. I have just like some of my earrings, my crazy earrings. I get these little earring holders from a place called Thousand Island Dressing, an award, and a cute little letter that Kerry wrote me with some flowers he got me. Why would I do that again? And then I have just like more earrings in here and just like my makeup cases when I travel. Miscellaneous And then in here I just like kind of hide all of our suitcases in there. Oh yeah, I have wool hanging here. This one, I'm not sure where it's from because it was just a gift for my birthday. And then you come through to the next room, which is our spare room for, you know, friends and family that want to stay over, but we don't really have any friends. And um, so no one really stays in here. It's just kind of there, I guess, for display. Linen is all from a place called In Bed Linen because like I just love linen sheets. A pillow is from Indie Home Collective. We have a little fiddly plant who's just hanging on for dear life over here. When we bought him, he was kind of dying. And he grew a few more leaves, but he still kind of is not looking his best. Then we just have some magazines as a side table, this little basket to just keep, you know, SD cards, nail clippers, and moisturizer. Oh, the rug is from Freedom, Freedom. Um, I got a little plant here with a little basket here from a place called Hendrix and Harlow and Byron Bay. And this is just a concrete side table, which I don't know where it's from, but if you just Google square concrete side table, you will find one. And then, last but not least, is my bedroom. But let's just get this out of the way. Because <laughs> you're probably thinking, what the fuck is it? That's what I thought too. It's a bench. When I bought it, it looked a lot bigger. They didn't have the dimensions on the website and it came in this tiny little box and I was like, that surely cannot be the bench. And it was. So we're going to put some little pot plants on it and put it up against a wall, but I just don't know which wall yet, so it's just here until then. The actual bed, so down here, we have just like a little, I don't know what this is called, just like a bed frame type thing from Freedom. And then our linen again from, is it, is from In Bed, that's where I get all of my linen from. This linen that we used to just like cover the ugliness is from Sheridan, it's called a bed skirt. A linen bed head, which is from a place called Bisque traders bisque traders i have my little pillows from indie home collective again because they just do the best pillows ever and then if you come around here we have perry's side table the actual side table itself is from hendrix and harlow and i regret buying it because it's 40 kilos and they didn't bring it downstairs they just left it upstairs Kerry and i had to bring it all the way downstairs and it was it took us so long and we were sweating like pigs when we got it down here we have a little this is dead so we need a new decorative plant. But this is from Wheel and Barrow, and then I have hair on my face. A little picture, the frame is from Sunday Society. And honestly, this picture is so cute. It's a little family photo of, hey Mia, where are you going? She's trying to escape. Hi, you can come in? Come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Yeah, so this little picture is like a family photo of me, Mia, and Carrie. Can you tell? And I just have like a little smelly thing and some two candles that are both from the place called Classic. And we have a little throw here. This is from a place called St. Bart's. The rug is my favorite thing in the entire world. It's from Armadillo Co. It's literally so soft. In the corner, we just have a chair, which is where we put the decorative pillows when we sleep. <laughs> and the chair is from... Hamptons at home and we have a plant here from the Storks and Stems Nursery in Mullingabba. This is also from Blacklist. They just have like the best prints ever. I have this from Indie Home Collective which I hang up here because it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I wanted to put it in this thing but it's way too big for that. And then down here I have this little tray from Indie Home Collective. I just keep some magazines for decor, a little cute note that Kerry wrote me so I can read it. Um, and some hair ties, my, 
what are these called? Head bones. Next, in the bedroom, you come through our little bedroom hallway into the walk-in closet. This is my favorite room in the entire house, if you couldn't tell. Color coat everything, put my pants up here, my tops down here, my long things that are too long for here go here, and then I keep all of my bags here so that I can see them all and like, you know, whichever one matches with my outfit. I, that's like the theory, I'm like, oh, whichever one matches my outfit I'll use, but really, I kind of just always bring this one or this one everywhere. <laughs> and then we just have like, you know, underwear, socks, pajamas, workout gear, Terry's clothes, because he likes them folded for some reason. And this is just like all of, well, most of my shoes. I have more shoes in there, and I have more shoes in my filming room. And then, oh, hello, Bob. This is Mia's bedroom. She loves it in here. So anyway, this is the last room of the house. This is our ensuite and not much to it. We have a little plant here, a little cactus. This, I actually don't know what this is for, but I use it as a candle holder because it's like kind of perfect. And that was from Indie Home Collective. And then over here is where we keep like our soaps, our hand wash, a nice room spray. I have a room spray everywhere because I like things to smell good stuff. So I have this little tray here from a place called Your Place. And then just my soaps and stuff. Bath mat is from Nudie Rugs. And I have this just from Kmart. And then I just have my towels from Cloth & Co. That is my home, all of my home decor. I hope it gave you some inspiration. Um, this is really echoey. Let's move out here. I hope that it gave you guys maybe some inspo um, or if you wanted to find out where anything was from, I hope you found out. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.